to LT Turf. This is where it begins, and this is where it goes down. If you could have any celebrity take care of your lawn for a month while you were gone on vacation, who would it be? John Ware. Hmm. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> let's go like next TV level. personality. <laughs> TV personality. Uh, not YouTube. Not YouTube. YouTube's uh, like so, you know, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt? Yeah, because he's like the ultimate. Seems like he'd do a good job. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 actually. <laughs> Oh, Clooney, Clooney. George Clooney probably Clooney. loves his own grass. Yeah. Let's come check out my crap! wake up tomorrow morning and all of your grass has been stolen what do you do oh that's easy I want that to happen <laughs> I would just I would level it out manicure it fine and then put down straight Kentucky blue monoculture one one variety one variety Everyone probably Everest or new glade or like a bewitched but it would just be one cultivar and I actually want to do that but I've got a little bit of opposition going on. I hear you. But I, I would wake, if the grass was stolen, I would freak out. Right. And I would then, walk out and then freak out. I'd be like, oh no, and then I'd and formulate then a plan. Would, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so do you do any impressions? I don't. Uh, no. To no one? No. Me no. neither. You don't either? No. Okay. We're rolling. Get off your phone, we're rolling. You ready for me? Yes. Hi there. You know, a lot of people ask me, what does it take to be a star in this lawn care industry? Does it take a well-defined jawline? Does it take cute dimples? Does it take incredible on-screen charisma? Or does it take a fancy production, like a high-dollar camera, or maybe a fancy microphone? Does it take a team of very well-trained cosmetic specialists? Or does it take an expensive mower? Or some fancy weed eater? Or maybe the perfect edger? No. You know what it really takes to be a Lawn Star? Lawn Star. Take Liquid Iron, for example. If you want that dark, deep, green lawn that's the envy of the entire neighborhood, Liquid Iron is the answer. Or if you're looking for better root development, or greener grass and faster growth, 0029 and 1648. 
Lawn Star Liquid Fertilizer. Still not satisfied? Maybe you want to amend that soil. Get some root hume concentrate with humic and fulvic acids to improve your soil. Can you handle more? Liquid aerator and liquid dethatcher to aerate your soil and break down that thatch layer. You can find out more at GetLawnStar.com. They have so many more products that will help you become a Lawn Star. You know, if you ask me, I'd say that my lawn is the real star. All right, that's a wrap. All right, you're fired. Whose idea was it to hire Left Tool as a cosmetology specialist? Okay, so this is my lawn care crop, and this is how I get the damage done and how I do it. So this is where kind of it all started right here. This is an MTD yard machine. Got this thing in about 2006 and this thing has miles and miles and miles and I lower my mower all the way down and kind of go for it. That's where it all kind of began. Then I got this, uh, this steel trimmer here. This thing is freaking sweet. Guard. So you want to make sure you got the guard on at all times so you can get your damage done the way you need to get it done. This is a gas power, high power, none of that electric crap with the old uh, string trimmer. Okay, moving on, I've got my Honda uh, Easy Start. This is the 216 model, the HRR 216. And this thing has done me right. It does have a little bit of issues here and there with the carburetor at this high altitude. But this thing is awesome. You always gotta have a machine with a bagger. You've always gotta have a rotor machine for doing cleanup and stuff like that. This has become my go-to rotary mower for cleanup. Moving on, this is my Toro Greensmaster 1600. This thing is a beaut. This thing is the workhorse and this thing gets things done. And this is what transformed my lawn from little to through the roof. This is what makes the stripes. This is what I, how I got my lawn down low. And this is the ticket if you want to make your lawn look freaking awesome. Favorite food? Uh, easy, pizza. Why didn't we get pizza yesterday? There's no good real pizza joints. All right. But like seriously, you can't go wrong with pizza. No, it's, yeah. It's easy food, Usually, most people most like it. Most of the time it's good. Yeah. Most of the time it's good. Yeah. Uh, pepperoni. Pepperoni is the best type of pizza. Right. Yeah. Favorite drink? Uh, Coca-Cola Classic. Dream mower. Uh, dream mower, probably. Ooh, that's a good question. I'm liking the 1600, the Toro uh, Greensmaster 1600. That is probably my favorite mower I've ever mowed with. It is fantastic. That Alet mower that's 34 inches, though. Yeah, you do it. it is a beast. No and that thing was awesome because it just. It had really good stripes, it was wide, it cut really well. But I would probably say a brand new 1600 or maybe a new one of these. This, this is the 3100. This is a recent and the newest addition to my lawn care family. This is the Toro Real Master 3100D. And this thing is, does an 80 inch wide cut. It's got three reels, one here, one here, and one under the belly under here. These are eight blade reels with a grooved roller on the front and a smooth roller on the back so it can lay down an 80 inch stripe. This thing is freaking awesome. Had this for about six months now and I've only used it a few times so far this year. Moving over here, this is my boom sprayer. This thing will spray 100 inches. When you've got a lawn like this, You've got to put down the products. Put down the humic acid, the prodiamine for your pre-emergence, uh, liquid fertilizers and such like that. This is a home build. I put this together myself and this thing is fantastic. What's your favorite movie? Uh, Back to the Future. Good one. Or Good Jurassic one. Park. Those are kind of tied. Right in there. Dra yeah. Which Jurassic Park? The, the, first, original. the original. Original Jurassic yeah. Park. Do you listen to music while you mow? Uh, no, I listen to the Yankees. Play by play. 
Huh. That's what I love about summer. The Yankees are playing, and I put it in there, and I zone out, and I just get to listen to John Sterling call home run balls. I love it. Amazing. So fun. Yeah. Favorite YouTube channel other than your own? Uh, I don't know. I've watched several of them. I like Alan Hain. I've been watching him for a long time. I'm liking Ryan's channel. Um, I watch a lot of grass channels. Probably my favorite would be the guy that that sings. I can't remember his name. He's oh, like, yeah, he's, like someone... he's like, uh, he's like, let's go, let's... something like that. I've some pretty, some yeah. kind of a let's go good. jingle or something. This is new to the family as well. This is a Spiker Ergo spreader. It's an 80 pound hopper, and that thing can put down product like no one's business. I can put three or four bags of the Melorganite in there, folks. Don't kid yourself. Man, this bad machine. You wanna get crap done, and if you want to kinda go for it, be able to move some stuff, this is the steel BR800 blower backpack. This is the highest end steel blower that they make. It's got the side start right here. Don't have to take the backpack off to start it and to stop it. And so you can just go about your business getting crap done. So that's pretty much how I'd get my business done in the lawn. And it has worked out well for me. But that's kind of my lineup. And I'm sure there'll be more additions in the future. But that's what I've got going on for now. What's your earliest memory of lawn care? Uh, just as a child, my dad had a McLean uh, real mower, and we would use that. And then, I, actually, he had one of those old style reels that just had the kind of the basket on the fabric basket on the back, and then a motor on top, like an old Briggs motor. That I think those are some of my earliest memories. So you've actually, been, you've been real mowing for yeah, a long time, right? I mean, there was a lot of years that I didn't. We didn't do yeah. that, but. You did it when you were young even, no? Yeah, cool. yeah, young, very young. So you've seen my lawn. You've seen how I do my damage here. Get the heck out of here. How many cups of nitrogen does it take to get to the moon? Four. Probably right. <laughs>